Today we're taking a peek at Lesson 6 in Module 2. And this time around we're drawing an area model and we're using the standard algorithm yet again, just like the last lesson. However, we're going to kind of break our area model into more piece, pieces and parts. Can't speak. Pieces and parts today. So this one's saying to draw an area model and then solve it using the standard algorithm. Period. Next step is use arrows to match those partial products from that there area model to the partial products that we end up with in our algorithm, this guy right over here. And so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can break this area model into kind of some more detail. I'm going to use some blue today. And so we're going to piece this apart. So if we're saying 20 plus 7 is the same as 27, yeah? And then the next thing we've got going here is we're going to put our ones place up top. And we know that a 6 plus a 30, make our 3 more detailed, gets us 36. And so we're going to end up with a few different spots and pieces when we make our partial products this time around. So let's break it this way too. So we've got our tens place and our ones place kind of separate here. I'm going to start with just the ones place. And I'm taking a look at 6 times 7. That's going to get us a 42. And then I'm going to take a look at 6 times 20. And I know that it's going to end in 0 because we've got the tens place going here. I know 6 times 2 gets me a 12. Now let's take a look at what's happening on this one right here. Because this is what we just looked at, was multiplying by 6. 6 times 7 got us a 42. And you see how we're carrying here? We're moving it so it's above the tens place. 6 times 2 is 12. And I'm going to say 13, 14, 15, 16. One way to think about it. And now let's come on back over here. And we're going to say 30 times 7. I know it's going to end in a 0 because of that tens place with the 0 here. We're not just saying 3 times 7. We're saying 30 times 7. 3 times 7, because we've already got our 0. 3 times 7 makes a 2 and a 1. And now we've got 30 times 20. We can think 3 times 2 gets us a 6. And how many zeros? two of them, two of those. And so now when we add them up, we're going to be taking a look at combining these, because they've got the hundreds place. These ones we do have one in the hundreds place. We've got four plus two is six. And then we've got this two plus zero, still a two. And then we take a look across here. We've got in the ones place. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0, still 1, 6 plus 2 gets us a 12. Let's take a look over here. I'm going to go ahead and you're welcome to do this when you do your paper work. Erase what you carried, because otherwise if you end up with too many things you've carried, it can get really crazy. So we took care of what was in the ones place. Now let's take care of what's in the tens place. 3 times 7. Oh, wait a second. 30 times 7 filled one's place because we're dealing with the tens place. 3 times 7, 21. Oh, got to carry. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 7, 8. We'll just count up. 8, 10. And then add them together. 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 8 plus 1 is 8. 872. There's no way this is going to come out correct though, is it? 6, 7, 8. I was still thinking about multiplying here, wasn't I? Here, teacher mistake. Let's do some erasing. And do you see, because we had our standard algorithm, so we were able to compare and go, oh, that doesn't like look right. So now when we add these together, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, and then we got 6, seven, eight. Now it matches. Can you see that? Eight, ten. Right there. And so we're matching them up. We're seeing our partial products coming together. So two plus zero is two. Six plus one is seven. Eight plus one is 
9. Let me see what happened over here. We didn't do that. 8 plus 1. I must have looked at the other one and got, oh, crud, messed up. So, two mistakes all in one. But, you know what? Because they're coming out to match 972, we're probably doing okay. Now let's take a look at the next page. This one's saying to solve using the standard algorithm. And I'm going to go to, let's see if we can find a nice hard one here. Let's take a look at C. So here we're going to have, actually let's, mm, yeah, let's stick with C because it's like 758. So if we've got three place values, this one's going to be 700 plus 50 plus 8, right? It said you do a standard algorithm, but I'm doing it the other one, just because this one's kind of more complicated. 6 plus 40. So this is going to have two parts to it. This one's going to have three parts to it. We'll have to see if my pen will work out okay, because this is a tiny space here, isn't it? Let's say we're going to start with the 1. 6 times 8. I know it's 48. I know 6 times 5 is 30 plus a 0 on the end to account for this right here, that extra 0. I know 6 times 7 is 42, and we have two zeros because it was 100. And now let's take a look at this one. I know that this is going to start with a zero in the ones place because of this. Four times eight is thirty-two. Two times eight is sixteen. And then when you double it, six plus six is two, carry the one. And so that's how we end up with the thirty. And now we're going to say zero, zero, because we've got those two zeros, right? Zero, zero, five times four is twenty. Now let's take a look at this one. There's one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. And we have four times seven is twenty-eight. So now we're going to be combining straight across this way. So I know that this has nothing in the tens place, neither does this one. So our forty-eight is what we're going to have. Now let's look at the hundreds place. Here's a 3 in the hundreds place and a 2. So we're going to have 3 plus 2 is 5 in the hundreds place. Now in the thousands place, we only have 4. Ones place, there's nothing. Tens place, there's a 2. Hundreds place, there's a 3, but nothing in the others. Now thousands place. Here's a 2 and an 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So we're going to be carrying. 2 plus 1 is 3. Now when you combine, 8, 4, 5, 6. Counting right up, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 plus 0 is 4. Here's our 3. Now, this one says to do this problem, but you know what? I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to use this for our standard algorithm spot. So if we have 758, and we are multiplying by 46, here's what that's going to end up looking like this way, parent style. So I know 6 times 8 is 48, so I'm going to carry. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. We have 42, 6 times 7 is 42, 43, 44, 45, 45. That matches right there, doesn't it? So we must be doing all right. I'm going to erase what I carried again. One, it gets less messy. Two, it's way less confusing. Now let's go ahead and actually make another color because it's kind of fun. We'll go yellow this time. And if we go 40, we know we are going to have nothing in the ones place because we're saying times 40. 4 times 8, that was that 36, 32. Sorry, remember we're taking 16 and doubling it. So we've got 32, we carry our 3. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. We have to carry our 2. 
4 times 8, or, psh, sorry, I'm kind of speaking of the answer a wee bit already. 4 times 7, 2 times 7 is 14. If I double that, I've got the same as 4 times 7. 14 plus 14 is 28. That was where my 8 was coming in. 28, 29, 30. So, 30. Now we're combining. Let's go another color, just because we can. Let's go with red this time. Here we go. So 8 plus 0 is 8. Match so far. 4 plus 2 is 6. Match again. 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's another match. They're coming out side by side. Check it out. 4 plus 0 is 4. We bring down our 3. And we think 1 place value, 2 place value, 3 place value. There's your thousands right there. And they match. So for your homework today, what I'm going to ask you to do, try both to share tomorrow. And again, it's asking you to draw an area model and then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial products for your area model to the partial products in your algorithm. So you're going to make your rectangle and then you're going to have 70 plus 8 gets you 78. And then you're going to have your ones place up top. So it'll be 2 plus 40, getting you 42. And the reason why you do that is so that way when you work these out, they match the partial products. If you don't work it out that way, your end will work out. They will match, hopefully, if you got all your math right. But it's actually so much easier if you can think of it this way, so that that way these match nice and easy. So back to the problem set, so you can copy them down. I'll see you tomorrow.